Hi, I'm Mariangela da Conto, and you're watching Earth from Space. Today, Copernicus Sentinel-2 takes us over Zeeland, the westernmost province in the Netherlands. Located around 150 kilometers from Amsterdam, Zeeland consists of a complex system of islands, peninsulas and waterways. The province of Zeeland lies on the large river delta at the mouth of several rivers. The lighter aqua colors in the image depict the shallow waters of the delta, with riverbeds and several sandbanks visible. The brown colored waters indicate a higher sediment content, which contrasts with the darker waters of the North Sea. The port of Rotterdam, the largest seaport in Europe, is visible top right in the image. Antwerp, in Belgium, is visible in the bottom right, and the quaint city of Bruges can be seen in the bottom left. Zeeland is one of the main agricultural provinces in the Netherlands, with one of the largest areas of arable farmland. The patchwork of agricultural fields, visible on the islands and mainland, show the fields in the various stages of growth or harvest. The area supports cereals, potatoes, beets, cattle, and horticulture. Large parts of Zeeland, which translates to sea land, lie below sea level. The province was the site of a deadly flood in 1953, brought on by a combination of high spring tides and a strong windstorm that severely damaged the low-lying coastal region. As a result, the Dutch government began to implement the Delta project, an elaborate system of dikes, canals, dams and bridges to hold back the North Sea. In this image, the 9 km long Eastern Skelde storm surge barrier is visible between the islands. Since sea level rise is a key indicator of climate change, accurately monitoring the changing height of the sea surface over decades is essential for climate science, for policy making and ultimately for protecting the lives of those in low-lying regions at risk. The Copernicus Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite, set to launch in November, is the first of two identical satellites to be launched sequentially to provide accurate measurements of sea level change. Both satellites will reach 66 degrees north and south, a specific orbit occupied by the earlier missions that supplied the reference sea surface height data over the last three decades. This orbit will allow for 95% of Earth's ice-free ocean to be mapped every 10 days. And this brings us to the end of this edition. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Mariangela da Conto. Thank you for watching and see you next time.